Hey guys, it's Ewan with the Erzy. One question we get asked a lot is, how come you never see any F-14 Tomcats fly at air shows? Or how come you never see any Tomcats in private hands? And there's some good reasons for that. First of all, let's talk about the parts of the Tomcat. The Tomcat is extremely well engineered and the parts on the aircraft are pretty complicated. They're not available, they're not manufactured anymore, and it's actually illegal to sell them. So uh, finding parts, spare parts for the F-14 Tomcat is pretty uh, difficult. If something breaks, you're gonna have a hard time replacing it. You're probably gonna have to manufacture it yourself. And if that's something super complicated, such as the titanium wing boxes, well then most likely you're just gonna be out of luck. Another reason is the maintenance schedule. The maintenance on the F-14 Tomcat was notoriously intensive and complicated. When we come around to the back of the aircraft, we can just see how big this aircraft is. There is a lot of things to check, to maintain, to debug and to fix. And look at the size of it, it's huge, it's a tennis court. So you're gonna need a lot of people to look after this thing. It takes about 60 hours of maintenance time for just one flight hour so there's a lot of stuff to do thirdly all that stuff costs money we're talking about a lot of time we're talking about making pieces or buying pieces um, we're talking about equipment tooling all that stuff costs a lot a lot a lot of money and unfortunately if that's all going to be spent just for a couple of air shows it hardly seems worth it and finally one of the reasons why you'll never see an f-14 tomcat flying at an air show anytime soon is because of the whole Iran thing. Now, if you don't know, Iran were the only foreign customers of the F-14 and they received 79 of them in the 1970s and they actually still fly theirs. Since the Iranian revolution, the relationship between the US and Iran, well, let's just say it has soured. So to stop Iran from being able to maintain their F-14s, there's been a ban on sales of F-14 parts and the military even went so far to destroying the spare airframes they had to stop the Iranians from being able to repair their fleet. So it's a pretty shame. It's, it's upsetting that we'll never be able to see one of these fly, but it does have great company such as the SR-71, two aircraft that will never fly again because they're just too cool, too fast, too complicated, and too amazing to fly in private hands uh, ever again. So, oh well. So those are the main reasons why you'll never see an F-14 fly at an air show in the States. The only way you can catch one flying in the sky nowadays is either by watching Top Gun or traveling to Iran and hanging out an airbase there. But personally, I don't recommend doing that. 